Hello, today I want to talk to you about the T-BioInfo platform, a platform designed for bioinformatics discovery, and it offers scalable and efficient multi-omics workflows designed for biologists and clinicians that want to work with complex and large omics datasets. Now, the platform is flexible. It can be extended with various scripts in R and Python, and it can easily be extended through packages that we often use for publication quality visualization or even with interactive dashboards. So today I'll talk to you a little bit more about the methods of analysis, integration, mathematical modeling and simulation, as well as visualization that you can use on the TBioInfo platform. So the methods are designed to offer consistent and easy to use workflows for different types of omics data like genomics, transcriptomics, and others. And the platform can be integrated into your research lab workflow, essentially connecting to your local hosted servers uh, or deployed onto the cloud for various aspects of the platform results, like visualization or results in a tabular format. It can also offer uh, tools for preparing mathematical modeling um, and, and therefore simulation of various experimental factors. So the key feature of the platform is really all about processing various types of omics data. And that includes taking the data that comes from the lab and processing genomic, epigenomic, transcriptomic, proteomic, metagenomic, viromic, and many other types of omics data. And that's why the key focus of this platform is to enable processing, analysis, visualization, and ultimately multi-omics integration with easy to use visual and structural outputs. After extensively testing this platform with many users, we have discovered that the significant features allow the platform to be very user-friendly for biologists and useful for even technical bioinformaticians that find it extremely or mostly useful. Uh, importantly, the outputs uh, are provided in various formats that could later be used for downstream analysis in commonly used tools like Python and R um, and, and provide important features for uh, biologists that would like to just explore their data or even perform complex analysis that requires a lot of resources like RAM uh, or CPU or even GPU. Various sections of the platform uh, could be useful for those that use standard tools um, and, and large data sets, and also could be adapted to specialized data, data that is developed within the lab, uh, specific formats of the data, as well as specific types of analyses. And so we've been privileged to work with many researchers at both academic and commercial institutions that have worked with our team as well as the Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center to make sure that these tools can also be utilized across the whole lab and uh, reproducible for others to preview and understand what the analysis results mean. So as I mentioned, the key feature are tools for reproducible workflow, uh, and that includes uh, color-coded maps for logical analysis, uh, explanatory pop-ups that show what the method actually does. Uh, it's a guided process that limits the number of mistakes that one can make as they build the pipeline and produces some uh, interactive or visual outputs that are easily interpreted for biologists. One commonly used data um, is RNA-seq or transcriptomic data. So we have a collection of tools uh, to map and quantify uh, gene expression uh, using various tools uh, like uh, mapping on the reference genome if it's annotated, generating a transcriptome, uh, and identifying novel transcripts, as well as downstream analysis for um, gene set enrichment analysis, differential gene expression, and uh, all kinds of annotation, especially for model genomes. More recently, there has been a lot of interest in single cell RNA sequencing, and so we've designed a series of uh, options for a typical workflow using the CELRAP package, where you can uh, produce standard visualization, as well as outputs with an RDS file that you can later on download and, and, and search through the different objects that were developed as a part of this workflow. Uh, importantly, it offers some standard tools as well as annotation and complex heat maps that could also be uh, revised in an interactive way. 
Microbiome sequencing uh, using hypervariable region amplicon sequencing data or whole 16S ribosomal RNA data uh, can be processed using tools like Chime2, uh, Data2, uh, using reference databases like Silva, uh, and many other tools that could be selected like PhiloSeq. And this produces static visualizations or a dashboard that allows us to compare different types of annotation in the metadata and identify taxonomic variation, uh, alpha and beta diversity, and explore uh, variation across different types of samples or groups of samples. Another type of data that could be uh, analyzed on the platform is genomic data, where we can process FASTQ files for variant calling uh, and finding differences between frequencies of mutations, as well as analysis of multiple sequence alignment with phylodynamics and even mapping of those results onto protein structures. As datasets grow and become more complex, uh, researchers utilize more and more data mining and machine learning methods to make sense of what is in the data, understand the, the biological processes that define variation across samples, and build machine learning predictive models uh, using different methods and different sets of features like, like biomarker discovery uh, or gene set construction. And so we've designed a series of interactive tools that could be used to uh, train and deploy these models, um, also using various features to understand the source of variation and the uh, different types of optimal settings to find those variations. Ultimately, when all of this data is generated, a lot of times one of the greatest challenges is to integrate this data. And so because we work with research institutions like the Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center, academic research in this field uh, has uh, resulted in a series of novel approaches, in a series of novel approaches to be able to map these complex networks of omics features and find association in these networks for critical features. The platform is extendable, and so we have been working with a variety of labs, companies, and uh, individual users to make sure that the outputs are interactive and could assist the researchers in finding patterns that are most interesting to them. And so we offer visualization as a service, as well as custom solutions so that you can make sense of complex data. We also offer extensive training uh, using tools that biologists can use, like the tBioInfo platform, but also uh, methods of coding and downstream analysis in R and in Python. And we have developed a full uh, website dedicated to such training called Omics Logic. So you can explore the variety of uh, training courses as well as programs led by mentors and exemplar projects that you can um, identify ways researchers use these methods to analyze their own data. Over the years, Thousands of students from around the world, from US, South America, Europe, Middle East, Asia, have gone through such training. And we've established relationships with many universities around the world to offer such curricula and train students to utilize tools that they can rely on to make sense of complex omics data.